Goats back in Mombazoo. We have $104,000. We are rich bitches, man. I mean, so, oh, these are ready to be harvested. But I think I'll wait till these other ones are harvested. And then are ready to be harvested. And then we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so anybody infested? Anybody like that? How are you guys doing? Where did I leave my car? It's been it's been over a week since I've played this, so I must have left my car over here. Yes, we gotta go to town. Oh, maybe not. Oh yeah, we do. Saturday things are still open. We gotta go to town and buy um, containers uh, for our oregano production, as well as uh, a couple other things. But today, no matter what happens, I'm taking the eyelashes off the car. Because people have been on me about this. I don't know why. I, I, people have been on me about this. I don't even remember putting them on there. Um, but they swear up and down they're there, so we're going to do that. And remove them. Well, we should also pick up our barrels, I guess, while we're in town here. Okay, we should probably get this cleared up. We need a little purple circle right now. That's good. Okay, excellent. Okay, good. We caught it just in time. So let's fill that up at least one anyway. Before we head off to town. Uh, we'll do that. But we're going to get those off no matter what today. Because it's starting to feel like a dream. Right? Like, I'm playing some other game. And people can talk about this thing that I don't know what they're talking about. But apparently on my Koenig, there's eyelashes that I got to go worry about so I, I will worry about that uh uh at the end of the episode we'll go and do it okay so because we gotta drive all the way over to the 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 car place the uh, right or the racetrack to do it so maybe we'll get this set up to do a few things because it's halfway through the production day already i can't drop it off today uh so if we can just get at least one barrel in and then a new barrel underneath that should cover us at least well we're probably going to run out of barrels but that's fine uh, I don't mind that. Okay. We should have probably ate a poutine before we left the house, but we didn't. Okay, well, that's fine. Maybe it's time we paint the truck a new color. Somebody actually gave me a color once, and it's supposed to be like very metallic-y, and I, I don't know. But I think I think we will uh, we will stop off and paint the truck. I don't know. I'm, I'm really into blues, but since I painted the... Uh, what the... Did you see all the shadows just pop in? Yeah, <laughs> go. Uh, I, I really want to go get um, uh, a new color, maybe like green, because I've been working with green in in um, my garage, and I kind of like it. But maybe we'll save that for another episode. But there is that better. There we go. Okay, okay. So let's just head off into town because I want to make sure I get those before the store closes. Oh yeah, we got to do these too. So we might as well do this, and then at the end of the episode, we'll head out to the track and replace those. Uh, and remove, uh, these eyelashes I don't know what anybody's talking about here. So we'll go do that, but we want to go get our oregano stuff first. But I want to leave these in the car, because I forgot about that. Those are the, the rally suspension parts. I, I feel like I want to leave my racing ones on, though, because... Because I feel like I want to track race more than rally, and the adjustable suspension is definitely better for that. So maybe we'll just drop them off there at the end of the episode. I don't know yet. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think I should run the rally suspension? Because that's good for dirt roads and stuff, but it's not going to be much good on a racetrack. Like, not that kind of racetrack anyway. 60 is real easy in this truck, man. You just do a little 60 mile an hour run. It's great. There we go. Around this corner. Oh, I shouldn't have put them in the back there. I'm starting to worry that they're just going to fall out. How are we doing for fuel? Ah, we got lots of fuel. Okay. Punch it. Gotta get ahead of that guy. There we go. <laughs> Don't follow the rules of the road. Safety third. Okay, here we go. Now, people who re watch the Farm Sim episode with books in it, um, saying she, she's sounded so healthy, she really appreciates the comments, uh, but she wanted you to know she we recorded that prior to her going off, uh, and she wanted to edit it, so... She's feeling well enough to edit. And so she's not quite healed up yet. So you probably won't be seeing her much for the next foreseeable future. But we have some ideas to do uh, with Farm Sim. Being that Farm Sim is getting a major update, we've considered switching maps. Oops, actually, I wanted to go there, so I'm not sure what that was all about. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're thinking about switching maps to the new map and taking on some lumbering stuff uh, to do. Uh, and then coming up with an excuse to why we had to leave the old map. <laughs> so, I don't know yet, though. We haven't decided. 
what we're going to do just yet. Okay, I want to buy this. What? It's Saturday. Why isn't it open? Mel! Mel! But I love you! Okay. Hey, why did you do this to me? Ooh, wheelbarrow. Ah! Oh, da. Okay, Zutalor. Okay. Okay, so not great. Um. Okay, I'm a little bit... Now I'm miffed. So we can't do that. But we can get fuel, at least, because we can do that... Uh, regardless if the place is open now or not. Let's go check for empties, then. We'll bring empties back if there's any empties to gather up. <sighs> we'll go check on our oregano. Okay, here we go. Was it driver's side? I'm pretty sure it was. All right, here we go. Stop this. Well, at least we got an excuse to paint the truck, I guess. There we go, and off it goes. I still think they should let you buy uh, regular fuel and then tune the cars for regular or premium. Higher octane and whatnot. Around here, I think it's up to about 94. There we go. We have pretty low octane fuel around here, but that's all right. I like the challenge. There we are. Let's see. What's up, boys? What are you doing? Excuse me. I'm coming in here now. What's going on? <gasps> are these the eyelashes everybody's talking about? See, I'm not wearing any eyelashes. Jeez. There you go. Okay, so... Yeah, this was great when I bought this. I remember I spent so much money on that. We don't have... We have everything here, like everything, everything you can imagine, except for paint colors, which we can go over here and get. You know what? I think I actually saved a, a picture of it to my phone. Give me one second here. I'm going to take a look. Okay, I found it. Someone says here named Buddy Howard. This is a while ago. Whoops, I moved lose there. There we go. I think the race car would look good awesome in 6619FF. Trust me. Especially if you add metallic and clear coat, it'll shine. So... What do you say now? 6619FF. Okay. Okay, it's purpley. Yes, yes. Okay. So I can buy that. All right. And then let's go spray the truck with it. It does have like an iridescent kind of look to it. Okay, okay. For some reason, I'm not allowed to paint the door. I, I do kind of like it. But why can't I paint the door? Wait a minute, I had it. Oh, there we go. Fun. No, he said I got a metallic and clear coated. In order to make this work. So let's get... How much time is it? we got lots of time. Okay, okay. It's blue at some angles and purple on others? All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to leave this here so I remember what it is. If I ever need to get it. So we need... I'm assuming this is metallic. Right? I think this is the metallic-ish looking thing. Let me see. No, that's not. That's just that's just matte. Crap. So, hang on. Okay, so that was just a matte finish. So where's the metallic then? Does it say metallic and I was just looking at a matte finish? Okay, well, I don't see... Maybe that is. Let's just do it up the way he said. We'll use that and then the clear coat on it. Let's see. So. Oh, that's the wrong one. Where'd it go? That's clear. That's that. Okay, where'd the other one go? Okay, well, I've lost the matte paint. Where? <laughs> what did I do with it? Did I throw it in the truck? Uh-huh. Okay, well, we'll put the gloss on it anyway. Ugh. 
So that really made it shiny, but I seem to have misplaced the... The metallic thing. Well, that's fine, though. Maybe um, the other guy has it. But for now, this will do. Let's go see about... Uh, um, What are those things called? Well, we can make the rims glossy? Well, that's fun. Okay. And I noticed, like, a whole bigger difference, but they do seem to change colors slightly. Perfect. Okay, so this could just be left over here, I think. All right, so let's go see if we got any empties kicking around. This is quite the color. Is empties down here? Empties are down here, yes. Okay, so we're going to try that. And then we should go check the marijuana crop. I think that's important. And here we are. Okay. All right. No empties. Okay. This is turning into a comedy of errors right now. We do have this, though. The weekends are the worst in this game because there's not a lot to do. So maybe going to set some track times over at the, uh, the racetrack would be preferable. I've been meaning to get out in the race car again. Or do I want to get into my car and do it? I don't know. I still want to buy the store and turn it into something. Like a pizza place. Deliver my own pizza. Now, if I was smart, I'd grab my own curds before I left, but I'm not smart. There we go. Okay, slow it down. There we go. It's all purple and metallic now, so... Woo. Okay, here we go. Perfect. <laughs> I just, I'm so, Im I'm so rambunctious with this truck now. I don't even, like, I barely slow down. Only enough so I don't kill myself. There we go. Come on, baby. And perfect. Okay, here we go. Stop, please. Ugh. Perfect. All right, let's go check on our oregano crop. Excellent. Okay, here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We have one huge package here. This is great. This is just like me. One huge package. All right, let's see. It's not ready to pack. How is it not ready to pack yet? So this is all growing on the same schedule now, right? Roughly, anyway? Yeah. So this is good. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Now, somebody was telling me in the comments that I should turn the radio on. It'll help it grow faster. So I'll just leave it on low like that. All right. Here we go. Well, we might as well go check on the... Uh, you know, I should eat a little poutine, I think. Jeez, I'm getting so low, though. All right, well, we'll eat a little bit. How many curds do I have? Not a lot. Okay, we got to be careful about how much we're eating here. I don't want to starve to death. So that should have ended. Production for the Murple Circle should have ended. And we should be just about... It should have ran most of the way out by now, I got to imagine. Yeah, the pumps have stopped, but it's still processing whatever's in there. You were definitely going to run out <laughs> of barrels tomorrow, but that's fine. There, go. Perfect. There we go. Excellent. So I do like the new color on the truck. It's a little bit... Uh, Mr. Chrome Ford Mustang 1996 or something, but that's fine. 
Can I drink any of this? Oh, yeah. There we go. We needed some of that. Mm. A little fresh maple syrup in the old uh, in the old gullet there. Excellent. I don't like that Melanie closed her store on Saturdays. I understand she needs a break, but you know you could at least like you know hire an employee to work the weekends. Some someone to do their pay them a decent wage. Show up on the weekends. You know maybe a good fifteen bucks an hour. That would that would draw in some people. Okay, here we go. I just need you to finish up so I can then go to the racetrack because I can I can probably. Uh, you know, maybe I'll wait till morning. At least this is getting down anyway. I'm not so worried about it, oh, like, running out of stuff. Like, it's going to run out tomorrow of barrels, so it doesn't really matter. But I really want my potatoes. To... Was that a new bird sound? A new Potatoes to finish up. There we go. Let's get this in here. You know, I might stream tonight. I haven't decided. I always say that. It's like it's not like this is like a live thing where you guys are paying attention to what I'm doing, but I'm just saying. I kinda I kinda feel the stream in my in my head. I can feel it. Maybe a late night stream. Finish up Dave the Diver. Who knows? Whoop, there we go. Excellent. I think we should probably go. Maybe have a nap. I don't know. It's only five o'clock. The potatoes are just been done, but I feel like if I nap, maybe the potatoes would get done. Because some of them are done, obviously. They've been done for a little bit. But. Yeah, I might water them. Can I water them when they're already wet? Does this count to their watering statistic? I don't know. There we go. Water them up a little bit. Those are already done. All right, so let's get that done. I want these guys on the same growth schedule. All right. Actually, I guess I could pick them and just not replant. I could do that. Probably. Let's do that. The ones that we can be picked, we'll pick. And we'll wait for the other ones before we replant. That way we can do a little bit of uh, poutining while we're waiting. Because I'm getting a bit low and I don't want to run out. How are you... How are you 99% potato? Like, 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 I know some people's computers are like 100% potato. All right, the bears, the bears, the bears. There we go. Now I'm not feeling like I'm going to run out of poutine. I'm constantly in fear of running out of poutine. It's that wartime economy thing, you know. There, God, I was like, I wasn't filling up. I was like getting worried there. There we go. Furiously kicking for a potato. There we go. Come on, make your potato. I love you too, Santa Goat. I really do. Santa Goat's my favorite developer so far. Okay, here we go. Put this potato poutine in here. Oh, yep, it's it's water. It's insta watering down there, which I love. There we go. Let's do some more. You know what would be nice? If you could drive the boat to the racetrack. Because I just bring the gas can and fill up from the tank that's there. 60% potato. Oh, wait a minute. Did that other one finish up? Why is that 99% potato? I don't understand. This is 100% potato. I just, gotta go crack. I just gotta collect some potato. Just relax. There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, here we go. The song, I'm not used to having music in the background. It's kind of blowing my mind. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I just ate one. Crap. It's two poutines in one day. Nobody needs two poutines in one day. Get on the bed. Jeez, 
I don't feel like I'm making any headway with my poutine supply. Whoops. How much is in here? 53% potato. There we go. Everybody wants to see hot poutine action. <laughs> Where's that poutine? Nah, poutine. Hot poutine action. Yes, all the people like hot poutine action. Mm. Do you like my fry chipper? Yes. There we go. I'm trying to hit the button. There we are. Perfect. 33% potato. I should be able to get one more, maybe another one out of here. Jeez, I'm using a lot of my, my curds up, too. Poutine power. I like people keep trying to tell me uh, it's poutine and not poutine, and I'll tell you. Spend enough time in Quebec. Talk to enough Quebecers who ordered it for me. Guess what they call it? <laughs> this is poutine. That's what they call it. Now, people from, I've, I've noticed from New Brunswick, a lot of times call it Putin. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Not saying all people from New Brunswick do, but I've noticed it a lot more in New Brunswick than I ever did in Quebec. All right, what do we got? 13% potato. That's like about exactly where my love life is. 13% potato. <laughs> How are you guys doing in the love department? Hope you're doing great. Hope everybody's feeling the love. Holiday season's coming up if you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah, I guess, or Kwanzaa. There's a whole bunch of holidays this time of year. But if you do celebrate, you know, it's got to be good getting in the mood. We had our first snow the other day. Very, very light. Uh, not much to it, to be honest. It's kind of boring. I was, I was hoping to be a little more excited, but I didn't get a chance. Okay, there we go. Can we just potato this up? There we are. So this has got 1% potato in it. Ugh. Just like Ty, not Tyler's uh, love life. All right, here we go. She's making all those poutines, making me hungry for poutine. Excellent. Okay, so we got done poutine at 8 o'clock at night. That's a good time to go to bed. Get an early start on the day. <sighs> Oh, geez, I made a ton of money. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, we'll go back to bed till morning. Now, there's nothing to be done on Sundays, so there's no point in us even worrying too much about production of maple syrup. Uh. All right, let's get in the bears, bears, bears. All right, let's get in, uh, in this here. Wait a minute, you know what? Yeah, no, what? I'm not going to do it. All right, let's just get out of here. Let's, uh... Let's head down to the racetrack. Wait a minute. Before I go. <sighs> I'm going to grab a few poutines to take with me. To the racetrack. And we'll eat one before I go. There we go, and then uh, we'll grab, eat one before I leave. Keep the bears out of my poutine. Okay, keep the cops out of my oregano. Keep the bears out of the house. Okay, let's go. It's this foggy morning here. There we go. Come on, baby. All right, let's go set some track records, baby. Or at least that's that's the dream. I, I was going to change the suspension, but I think I'll ask you guys first. Uh, do you think it's really worth it? Like, I know it's a new part, but I feel like the adjustable shocks, the way we use the, the Koenig is better. Whoa! Okay, rabbit. You can't, you can't just do that constantly, bud. Now, which... Oh, yeah, it's over here now, isn't it? Whoop! Dodge Ram. Back when they were still Dodge Rams and not their own company. 
Uh, there we go. Come on. Yes, getting down to the racetrack on the regular is something I wish I did more of. Hey, bud. I bought these a week ago. Still haven't used them. Oh, God. We're going off the road. Okay, here we go. Let's go. The gas mileage in this truck is not great. It doesn't help I rev the ever-living garbage out of it. Like, I'm definitely driving it like it's a race car. When it's definitely not a race car. And Jilly Max is out about 100 miles an hour, so... There we go. Come on. Going to the autodrome, baby. <laughs> Look at all the burnouts there in the front, eh? People showing off their cars. You know, I hate the fact that we don't own this and we just got it open. Get into the infield here. Oh, we should take the La Missile around. I think it's a good spot as any to park the truck. Okay, let's bring some poutines out. Apparently, I can just throw them right through that window. Apparently not. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Excellent. Let's get this poutine in here. All right. What did, what did I just... Oh, I put the poutine inside the wall. Stupid idiot. Jeez, you moron. What's wrong with you? Escape? Seriously. Now we only got so much closet poutine. What's that? We are crowned Austin. All right. Yeah, it was very close to the wall I parked. <laughs> Not quite touching it, but pretty close. There we go. Little Honda Civic here. Okay, let's just get this closed up. There we go. I do love the color of this car, though. This, like, muted blue I kind of enjoy. So, yes, what is it? Oh, these eyelashes. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll do that at the end of the episode. Make sure we uh, get on that. Let's see here. Oh, wait a minute. How much fuel is in this thing? And I don't remember what side the fuel... Oh, is that it over there? Okay, so it's passenger side fuel. All right, let's get her... Uh... get her fuel what am I what am I caught on oh there's a wall right there I forgot there's a separator I thought I thought it was just one big open door my bad there we go come on this has got some miles on it. It's like 12,000 miles on this thing. All right, let's hop out. Fill her up. I like the way they do the cap in this game where it just uh, stays there. I like that. Excellent. Fill that up. Uh, we got enough gas. No, I don't worry about it. There we go. All right. Now, what did this say? I saw some claimed. Look at that. The Koenig did quite well, actually. Look, look at that. It barely got into the oval, but it, it did did work. Okay, let's fire it up. Perfect. Okay. I like how this has a come along in it, too, just in case you screw it up. Now, what, what is this? Is this the oval? Okay, here we go. Why did I just say sorry? I must have hit the button again. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, come on, baby. Twenty seconds is not a great oval track time. Come on. Come on, baby. Fifteen fifteen five nine. That's not bad. I'm just hitting the top of, was it fourth gear? Fifteen eight one four, not great. Oh, this thing's grand, man. Jeez, I'm slowing down on every lap, eh? Not bad, though. Not bad. It could be worse. Let's put it that way. And I'm hitting the top of that gear is the problem. I got a shift, but it seems like a waste to shift. Is that 28? 26. Okay, here we go. Let's get off the infield here. Like there's this looks like a podium here. That's eventually gonna be a thing? I, I don't know. You know what? I think I wanna try it again. I think I wanna you know, I think I'm gonna go after that again, but I think I want to know what my best lap for that is. Is that listed anywhere? Ah, here we go. Yeah, so 15... 15519 is my best on the oval. You know, I haven't taken the old truck on the oval or the drag and the Koenig almost does it does pretty good against you know what all right let's get out of here for a sec where's my truck so what haven't I done in the truck so the truck is terrible at the track how did the Koenig do better than the race car no it doesn't matter um so we need to do the oval the drag race with the truck so let's uh Let's do that. I like the side sliding door, even though that doesn't make a lot of sense. All right, here we go. Ready, truck? You are not going to be good at any of these things, but... I think we should try the oval with it for sure, though. All right, let's get this thing set up here. Should I should I try it in four-wheel drive to get that traction off the line, maybe? Let's try that. Come on. Come on, truck! <laughs> it's so slow. Come on. New best. Nice. 11 seconds in an eighth mile. Ugh. You know, for, the, for this truck and this vintage, it's not bad. Not bad. I think that the other ones are like nine, nine, three, nine, six. Let's just double check that. Let's see here. Uh. Yeah, yeah, 9396. Okay, so let's do the uh, let's do the oval in the old truck. Let's do it. You ready, bud? This is going to be a little bit tougher. We got cargo inside here. We probably don't need four-wheel drive, but I'm going to leave it on anyway. I think I think that's on, isn't it? Yeah, four four high. Okay, come on, truck. Oh yeah, we got to wait. Okay, forgot. 
we gotta start on the line. I always forget that. Okay, here we go. Okay, ready? Okay. Jump the gun on that one. Okay. And go. It doesn't really matter for the first lap because you're just, it's the second lap and third laps you're really concerned about. Okay, so it's not great. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Come on. 25 seconds. Okay, come on, baby. If they ever start letting you modify the truck, I promise I will use the truck and try to beat my Koenig's time with it. Oh, 20 seconds. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, doing it in fourth gear is a terrible idea. Just leave it in fourth. There's not enough. There's not enough speed coming out of the corners. Yeah, not great. Come on, come on, come on. Oops, you're gonna be fine. Come on, push it. Push it! Ugh. Come on, truck! A sub-20 would be amazing. Ugh, not gonna get there, right? That's fine. I wonder if you can race the little buggy thing. All right, let me see here. Pull this on in here, and we'll uh, stop that. This, that was a good one, man. Okay, let's just... can the, Will the little buggy race? Or will, the, will this thing race? Let's try this. Uh, we should probably fuel it, right? Okay, let me see here. All right, I'm getting all my vehicles just kind of crammed in here. And grab this, and then this. Top that up. Really, again, you shouldn't fuel while the car's running. It's just an accident waiting to happen. This is where all the guys go, I've done it plenty of times. If you're careful, it's not a problem. It's more dangerous than leaving it off. That's all I'm saying. I'm not judging. Safety first. We all want to enjoy the sport. People do stupid crap. None of us will be allowed to enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> So what, about six and a half she runs out of steam? Okay, she's quick. Not not like fast fast, but she's she's quick. Oh, she's barely hanging on. Okay, you're fine, you're fine. Eighteen. Eighteen's not bad. Come on, baby. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. We, we, oh, God, we slid right through it. Oh, we missed it. Damn it. Okay, well, okay, yep, this is dangerous. Okay, so not bad, though. Oh, you need some syrup. 
Okay, let's just pull on in here. Uh, oh, can we? Are we even allowed to pull in here? Oh, we are. Okay, excellent. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna pull on in here, and we're gonna go get some shrap. All right, there's some in the. Let me out. Sixty-nine. All right, let me see here. Nice. All right. Perfect. Excellent. So, I think that's gonna end this episode. But before we go, we're gonna remove the eyelashes. But let's have a little nap first, and then we'll uh we'll get at it. Ah. <sighs> What the? What? What is this? What the? Oh no. Not this again. Whoa! Ugh. Well, I think this takes care of the eyelashes. Well, maybe next time. Scapegoat? Out.